what do you do with your old prosthesis that you no longer use? So for some women, their size has changed and they need a different size prosthesis. Some women have had reconstruction and they don't need their prosthesis anymore or they need a different size. Or some women, you know, they've passed the two year mark on their prosthesis and it's time to get a new one. So a breast prosthesis, whether it's a full prosthesis or a partial, is warranted for two years under manufacturer's warranty. And I think that's pretty international because it's a manufacturer's warranty. And here in Canada, the government participates in a grant towards your breast prosthesis every two years. So a lot of women replace their prosthesis every two years for a variety of reasons. And one may just be that it's worn out and you know, starting to get old and they want to replace it before it starts to break down because you don't want to be getting ready to go someplace and find that your prosthesis is broken down. Some women, as I mentioned, have changed sizes or their medical condition has changed. Something's changed. So what do you do with your old prosthesis? Um, even if it's the same size as what you're going to replace it with because of warranty issues. Well, there's a few things. One, you can toss it in the landfill, I guess, if it is broken down, if it's, you know, leaking or it's no longer usable. I don't really think there's any other choice and it's too bad because I don't think these break down very well. They're not really biodegradable. They're surgical grade silicone. So that's going to stay in the landfill for a long time. So what other options are there? Well, two, you can... Um, keep a backup for a, a variety of reasons. If you are a swimmer, you can keep your old prosthesis and put it in your mastectomy swimwear so that it's always in there. You don't have to change it. Many of these are warranted for water and some aren't. So if yours isn't, then use the old one. Use the old one for swimming. Even if it's a slightly different size, I don't think it's really going to matter in your swimwear because you're in the water and nobody's going to be really noticing, but that's a personal choice. But it is an option to keep it for swimming as long as it's not damaged because if it's you know got a cut in it or something like that then the water will get in uh, you can use it for travel so some women will bring an extra prosthesis with them when they travel just in case they're in a country that they're not familiar with something happens they spring a leak and they don't know where the ne nearest mastectomy boutique is um, you know, so just backup or just to have a backup in general, because again, you never know when something crazy is going to happen. Somebody, you know, puts a poppy on and ruins their prosthesis. So it's a good idea to keep a backup if you have a spare prosthesis. But sometimes women have two or three or four spare prosthesis because they've had their surgery and every two years they get a new prosthesis. And now it's been a while. So what else can you do with these? Well, you can pay it forward. You can donate these to the Cancer Society in your area, to mastectomy boutiques that take donations. For instance, we take donations and then we pass these on to women who fall through the cracks and otherwise wouldn't be able to have a prosthesis. You can um, call different hospitals or charities and find out if somebody takes these. As long as they're in good shape, Okay, they're not breaking down, but they're in, in pretty good shape, gently loved, and please wash them beforehand before your donations. And then donate it forward because when these are donated to women and I fit a donated prosthesis on someone, you would be surprised at the reaction. There are tears because these women thought that they would never have a prosthesis, they would never feel confident again, and it really changes their lives. So... If you can avoid the landfill, keep one for a backup or swimming, and then your other option is donation. I hope that helps. Please press that subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.